The Alpine Lodge's 2023 is LEGO Icons Winter Village release and has me longing for Christmas in September. Thank you LEGO for sending it. Keeping the tradition of the sub-theme, the price point remains unchanged and so do the split instruction booklets, the bigger one for the advanced build and the smaller for the kids appropriate easier build. Those include a snowmobile with a trailer to bring the Christmas tree to the lodge, though the ball joints clutch is so strong that the trailer stays at a fixed position rather than following the snowmobile around as I think it should. The other small build is an outside toilet that most of the internet claims to be Shrek's, with good reason, right? No Shrek included, sadly, but the way this was built was actually very ingenious, using these 4x6 plates for walls, as was this pine tree here, making use of a technique previously seen in the Tranquil Garden and Viking Village sets, turning the relatively new fern elements upside down. Funny how the fern element is being used a lot more for non-fern uses, right? A similar tree can be found by the Frozen Lake build, which reminds me of that Chinese New Year set from a few years ago, recreating the frozen water effect with the big panel elements recolored in an opalescence color. Surrounding the small lake there's a small dark green spruce tree element, a bench with two sets of ice skates to rent, a small pier and a simple snowman. Before checking the lodge I'll just highlight the minifigure selection, five in total, all appropriately dressed for winter, except for this guy here probably the owner of the place, also the only one without an alternate face print. Every other minifigure does have double-sided head elements, and these two also have extra air pieces for when they remove their head gear. There's also a cat, a squirrel and a red bird, by the way. The lodge itself is amazing, and there's really no point beating around the bush. The first floor is, in my opinion, the reason this will be one of the most sought-after winter village sets of all time. A fine example of perfect piece usage to replicate a style of real world buildings previously almost impossible to achieve with LEGO. This log cabin effect was done with the use of a ton of these relatively new bow elements in three different sizes, broken here and there with the windows, door or the birdhouse to keep it visually interesting, but boy does it look good. I'm usually against the use of super specialized elements in favor of older ones, but I gotta hand it to LEGO, they did this brilliantly. The rest of the build isn't as impressive but I can't really ask much more of it, honestly. At the ground level, the lodge has a predominantly stone-based build where a few tools can be seen, like an axe in this corner here and a wood chopping block to keep the stock here from disappearing. I like the grill piece usage for the window panes, the lights by the door and the name of the place, Two Pines Inn. Maybe referencing the two pine trees by the lake? I do wonder where the 5 star rating came from given how the toilet is you know, outside. The balcony on the first floor makes good use of white bow elements, including the corner version for the piled snow effect over the handrails. A few tiles for the snow on the floor or the teeth plate below the squirrel. To the side there's the stone chimney with a good mix of regular bricks, profile bricks and round plates for some texture, a few white slopes for snow, as well as the corner bows used once again at the top. The roofs look great at an angle, put together in a much nicer way than what I did when I designed the gingerbread house, and the reef decorations under there complete the Christmas look. From the open back we get a good look at the interior details, starting with the ground floor with the fireplace burning away, that does in fact burn away. Kinda, by triggering the mechanism that pushes the light brick even within the stone chimney for a cool light up scene. By the fireplace there's a set of comfy couches and a table, in the back wall a self service area with a coffee machine and some cookies, and right next to it a small desk complete with a pen and guest book. On the first floor there's the sleeping area with two beds, with matching bedside tables, candles and a present. Above it a sticker for a painting of a farmer and his cow maybe a reference to the farmer from the Lionite's castle, maybe something else, who knows. On the floor I like the snow footprints that match the ones outside by the balcony and by the bed to the left there's a heating source that uses the same trigger and light brick used to illuminate the fireplace on the ground floor so getting two times the value out of the same light brick is really inspiring and cost efficient. On the last floor there's yet another bedroom with similar furniture as seen before with a gift box that has binoculars inside. The Alpine Lodge really stands out 
out against previous non-fictional sets of Winter Village, mainly because of its mountain setting as opposed to the city-like style sets. That, on the other hand, could make it a bit hard to integrate in Winter Village displays, though I'm sure people will find a way to make it work. But who am I kidding? Have you guys seen this amazing technique for the cabin log style build? I kind of feel like buying two or three of these to make a small alpine town to display for Christmas and you should do as soon as possible because I get the feeling this is one of those products that will fly off the online LEGO shelves October 1st when it releases, links to purchase down below, and LEGO is known to struggle with inventory and restocking in the months that lead up to Christmas. So keep that in mind and I'll see you on the next one. Still doesn't beat my gingerbread house, but it's close. Very close. Wow.